What's good, folks? It's K Spade the Prospect, aka the Big Blue Chevy Driver, and sometimes referred to as the YouTube Rookie of the Year. And wait a minute, can I still be the Rookie of the Year? I mean, I just started doing this in August, so I haven't been doing it for a year. But the calendar year has changed. Uh, I don't know. Let's let's give this a shot. What's up, folks? It's K Spade the Prospect. AKA the big blue Chevy driver and sometimes referred to as the YouTube MVP and I'm bringing you guys the 13th episode of the Pigskin Pro. I'm still here in my sophomore season at the University of Miami playing strong safety and so far this year we are undefeated. We're ranked number three in the nation and that's just mind blowing because we suck. Alright, it's no nice way to put it. We are bad. But the good news is we're facing Duke this week and it's not basketball so like nobody pays Duke any attention unless it's basketball or lacrosse and it's neither so i mean my mind is not on these guys i'm already thinking about who's next i think it's notre dame so i'm thinking about what kind of stats i'm gonna do whether or not i'm aware the team color sleeves or the black sleeves i'm not i'm not paying duke any attention better yet after this game it's a big frat party i got some new polo i want to debut monique with the big ass is gonna be there i'm all over that and i bet she gonna have those tights on again with those stilettos forget this game but I might better get my mind off of Monique because that was my zone. Lucky for me, this cornerback is either really fast or that receiver is really slow because that should have been seven points and it should have been on my head. But it's not. It's a 10-point game midway through the second quarter. No big deal. This is Duke, y'all. And even though my offense sucks, get that. My offense sucks. I'm pretty sure that they can get it popping on Duke. I mean, we've beat ranked teams this year. This is Duke. No big deal, right? So I'm still me, and by that I mean I'm still swinging a big stick. Hold on one second, y'all. They running my side. Bitch! I'm sorry, y'all. I know that's not right, but unless you give me a better word, bitch is all I got. And bitch! And then he going to get up and say, you ain't hit me that hard. I said, dude, you sitting here talking to me. Google that. You don't know what day of the week it is. Just wobble back to the huddle, please. Better yet, go to the sideline and let one of those doctors check you out. You're not all right. But Duke did something that's crazy, y'all. They, they actually challenged me. No team this year has really tried me. And because they don't try me, I, I'm pretty laxed in my zones. I'm out of my zone. I'm chilling. I'm on the sideline getting phone numbers from cheerleaders. I'm everywhere but where I'm supposed to be. And Duke had a game plan. They said, we're going to go at K-Spade and we're going to see if he is as good as ESPN says he is. And um, I got to admit, they was really going at me. And most of the time, I wasn't as good as you know I'm supposed to be so coach did a great thing he moved me from the strong side to the weak side you know trying to move me around right here he got me in the middle of the field so I can kind of survey the situation perfect zone I'm looking I'm looking I'm looking and of course the ball goes where I'm not for the touchdown hmm but uh this is still Duke so no big deal but I left my cell phone on the field I know I'm not supposed to have one but I left my cell phone on the field at halftime I come back to get my cell phone and this is what I see so I'm watching these guys celebrate on the field like they just won a bowl game. And I'm like, they're not even up. So I come back into the locker room, and me and the team get a really good laugh out of it. I'm like, you should have saw the mascot. He was doing the staying alive. Like, they was wilding out. I mean, you know, we giving each other dap. We cracking up. And they come right out, and they score. They go up seven. But I'm still not worried at this point because this is Duke, right? I mean, y'all, look, maybe I'm tripping. This is Duke, right? That's what the D mean, Duke? Okay, seven point game, third quarter, no big deal. We still doing what we do. But I wanna show you something that was really crazy. Third and two here, they run away from me and they convert. Now, third and one, later on on the same drive, we make a stop. They're up seven with the ball on the 12 yard line. A field goal would get them a 10 point lead with a quarter to go. But they, they very, very, very disrespectfully come out here and decide to go for it. Now this pisses me off. Now, I want to blitz, but they've been gashing us through the air, so I got to respect the passing game. That don't even sound right. Respect the passing game and Duke should never be in the same sentence, but it is. So, I'm watching this quarterback, and he thinks he's going to run. And I'm going to be honest, he threw that pass because I let him know with my eyes. I was about to James Harrison his ass. I was in a Colt McCoy situation. I didn't even care. You can find me, suspend me. If he had to continue to run, I was about to get him carted out of here. That's just me being as honest as I can possibly be. And I'm showing you that we made a stop, gave it to my offense for the second time in the fourth quarter, and they still produce no points. My offense has had the ball twice this quarter. 
No points. Not even three. And again, I'm out of my damn zone. What am I doing, y'all? What am I doing? I don't know. I mean, and this is the first time with two minutes left in the game, I'm sitting here thinking, oh, shit. We can lose this game. Like, I never took these guys serious the entire game, and that's my fault. And I'm like, we can lose. So, I'm, I'm really hoping to get an interception here. I really want to put pressure on the quarterback, so I blitz. And it's a running play. And that's going to go in the stat book as an assistant tackle, but you guys know what's up. Who is in the backfield three yards deep? Me. That's who. My offense finally puts points up, but it's way too late. I'm looking at the, the offense like, man, you know, I hate y'all, man. 24 points on Duke? Come on, man. So, just like that, this game is over. And, uh, you know, it's my fault. Let's keep it 100. It's my fault. And for the first time in the history of the Pigskin Pro, I'm going to give you guys two episodes in one day. So, stay tuned.